Hey, it's David with Euro Motorcycles. Today I'm gonna to show you how to mount a bike rack using your accessory receiver hitch for your Euro Motorcycle. Hey, I'm back by the wood pile to show you how to mount this bike rack on your Euro accessory receiver hitch on your Euro Motorcycle, mine's already installed, to put your bicycle on the rack to ride your motorcycle up to the trailhead so you can ride your bike. I gotta mention too, this is not a paid promotion. Nobody's sponsoring us to do this. These are just the products that we use around the shop and I thought I'd show you how it goes together. So when you unbox this, you're gonna have the rack itself. This is the ridge back line. You're going to have six straps that help secure the frame to the bike rack. Uh, there's three per bike. This is a two bike rack. You're going to have another strap to help further secure the bikes to the, the rack. And then you have two keys to lock it in place so nobody can steal it. And then you're going to have two wrenches, which I'll show you how, what those are used for pretty soon. And then you got your um, instructions. So this particular rack will work on two inch and one and a quarter inch receivers. So not only will it work on your one and a quarter inch Ural accessory receiver, it'll also work on a vehicle if it's equipped with a two inch or one and a quarter inch. So it's uh, much more universal. You can switch it back and forth between vehicles. To mount it on the Ural though, we're gonna have to take, a, take the two inch part off. So with the small Allen wrench that's provided with the, with the rack, you loosen these <clears throat> two little bolts. Don't lose this. That X has a wedge that help wedge it out inside the receiver and help lock it in place. Then you take your large Allen wrench and remove this alloy spacer that would be used in a two inch scenario. Voila, don't lose this either. This is the wedge that you tighten up on the knob that will help secure it into the receiver as well as a quick release pin. Now this part's pretty self-explanatory, but you're going to want to loosen the knob so there's enough slack for this to sit down. You're going to slip it into your receiver and push it in and line up the hole right there. This little pin is going to only go in the left side when you're standing behind the unit. It's only going to go in from this side. The other side has got that threaded rod running through it for the wedge portion of the mechanism so you can't put it in from the right hand side. Then you're gonna tighten this up. Now if you want to secure this so it doesn't spin, this is where the keys are used for so you can lock it and prevent anybody from stealing it. The functions of this rack are super easy. This one here lowers it down so you can access the trunk if you need to. When it's up, it does clear the stock rack, it clears the tire and it clears the bumper. This one here raises and lowers the bike mount system. So this one here, which is opposite on this side, these L-shaped ones are the ones that cradle the top and the down tube underneath the seat. I didn't know this at first, but when I was reading the directions, these two end caps actually have a pop bottle cap opener for your favorite be beverage too when you're done. Now I'm only carrying one bike, so it's going to go on the rear mounts. Make sure that's secure against the frame. The straps are easy to attach and remove. You just feed these through, pinch these little locking tabs and secure it down. And last, you have the secondary strap, which I use to go around the wheels and tires, around the frame, uh, around my luggage rack, and secure my front tire to here so nothing's wobbling around and the wheels aren't spinning as wind is moving across them. You can find all these accessories that we're talking about and more at imz-ural.com. Go to the shop tab and click on it and it will take you to our store.